Hi everybody, welcome back with another video by Coachit and in today's video we are going to talk about custom tools in uh, Flowwise okay not a custom tools in Flowwise but we are going to build our custom tool using Flowwise okay so this is going to be very simple what we are going to do uh, we are going to take on API endpoint we are going to use a new API in this video we will take that and we will uh, make a custom tool on the basis of this on the basis of that API endpoint okay and we will attach that with our API endpoint I mean like our open AI and uh, whenever after that whenever you will ask anything you know like uh, give me latest news and things like that then it will respond you on the basis of it okay so I'm not going to like configure the entire thing you know like uh, in a well structured manner I'm just going to show you an example like how you can do that and after that you can you know use any endpoint that you have you know even your custom endpoints and any other data source sheet you have you can use that uh, using that endpoint okay so by using that custom tool so you will be able to make that and that's what we are going to see in this video but uh, before that uh, if you are uh, one thing like uh, i'm not going to show you like how to set up this entire thing uh, this flow wise and everything from scratch because i've already explained that in my old video so if you haven't watched that i will uh, i will recommend you to watch that first and then uh watch this again okay then you will understand understand things better but if you have or if you have idea about like how these thing works then that's fine just stick stick to this video till the end and you will have a uh, proper idea like uh, by the end of this video you will have an idea like how you can um, build your own custom tools so i'm just gonna so the api point and point that i'm going to use is a uh, news api let me show you okay so it's a free i think uh, although i have never seen yeah there is a pricing but i think uh, you can make around like a 5000 searches per month for free okay so like uh, if you are making around like a 2000 searches then it's, it's free for you okay so we are just going to test so there's no need to buy it okay so yeah just mm, go at this website like newsapi.ai and after this you just sign up for it okay uh you can get your free api key uh, i've already signed up that's why i'm not going to do it again i'm just going to sign in here and i will copy my oh, what the hell i'm doing wait a minute news api okay so that was like i think wrong one uh, so this is a news api dot org here you can see okay so it has like a pricing uh zero dollar for developer totally free start now and test whatever however you feel like um, but if you are using it for any commercial purpose then you have to i think pay uh, some mana, some monthly uh, price but we are just going to test so as we can guess uh, we are not going to pay the any money here so here you can see uh, the very basic one is uh, this okay so i'm just going to take this one uh, so what it does like all articles about tesla from the last month started by recent first okay so this will give us uh, all the articles all the news related art news articles which is based on a tesla you know where tesla is somewhat used in their title or something like that and it will give you return it will return you basically uh, response in this format okay so this is the api endpoint that we are going to use and here our api key uh, don't worry i will reset an api key so there is no need to uh, so yeah so i'm just going to copy this one and i will use this one right so let's create a custom tool custom tool so one of the important thing here uh, like i've already made like quite a couple a couple of tools here as you can see uh, fetch news there is already one uh, used to fetch news but i'm going to make one from scratch okay just to explain you like how it works so we will name it like a uh, code cheat news fetcher okay or something like that and this description is a very very important part because this is the play this is the thing that your api oh, that your lm model will read and uh, on the basis of that like it will decide whether to use this tool or not if it will if it would make sense uh, your if it would make sense to use this particular tool then it will use it or else it will skip this okay so this is the very important part here you have to describe like when to use this thing okay so uh here i will write uh 
uh, use this tool or you can write you know uh, in, in however you want you can just give a description you know like uh, to fetch latest news on the basis of keyword okay and i'm gonna scroll down and here you can see uh if you don't know like how this works uh, i'm just going to you can click on the see examples and here you can see it will give you the proper uh, nicely written code okay so here uh we are importing the node fetch i'm just going to replace this url here okay let me replace url okay so this is our url okay yeah so uh the thing that we need to change is uh like uh, we have to change and make it dynamic right to the tesla world we don't want like whenever we search you know uh get uh me latest news uh it shouldn't always you know uh get that tesla thing you know we have to make it more uh, dynamic so in order to do that like what we need to take care of uh, here you can see like add item here you can define what kind of like dynamic parameter you want basically here you can define your dynamic parameter and you can use that here okay for example uh, we are going to name uh, we're going to i'm going to add like a title okay and uh, you can assign it like a string and here a description uh, it is like a, a keyword title okay or anything like that and it's it is required okay so in, in order to use this tool uh, this field is very very required because on the basis of this we are going to craft our api endpoint so and uh, how you can use this title uh, let me show you so uh, just like a string I'm going to remove this Tesla thing here and plus plus I'm just going to you know I'm just doing a string uh, concatenation and here just uh, write your title thing okay so now what it will do uh, whatever you will search here like if we are searching in Tesla then it will append Tesla here if you are searching Google then it will append Google here okay and uh, the one more thing i'm going to do is like i'm going to uh, set a page size because uh, by default it gives a very very long response and as you can guess like uh, our language model doesn't have that much of capacity you know uh, like um, even i think uh, our da vinci has uh, you know in da vinci you can uh, feed at most like uh, 4000 tokens the part uh, if it will exceed that then it will basically give you some sort of an error so we have to make sure that it is within a limit so just to test this video i'm going to set it to like it is, it is going to fetch two article on the basis of that given keyword okay which is the title so this is an example of like you know how you can uh, fetch this in news api endpoint but you can replace it with anything you know whatever even if you have a, your custom api endpoint you can replace it with that and after that I think it's pretty much simple uh we are making a get request so there is no need to change that and uh here this is one of the important thing instead of uh, bringing our response in json format you have we have to uh bring it in a uh, text format okay because lm can only understand you know the text what whatever the text will be written it will understand that thing and you can sanitize you know the response further to remove all those you know uh, the useless sort of words you know extra tags and things like that but um we are not going to do any of that in this video because just i'm just going to show you like how it works and after that finally you have to return the text okay and i think everything is set and uh, let me just add it here go to news fetcher add okay so our custom tool is ready uh the second thing that i'm going to do uh, i'm going to um add open ai model okay i'm going to use chat open ai okay you can use what other models as well but i'm going to use chat one and uh, we are going to use agent as well uh, i'm going to use open ai function agent and here we can attach tools 
to this allow tools uh, if you remember uh, last time what we did we we have you we had used like you know uh, in build tools uh, which is called serp api okay but here we have made our custom tool and we will see uh, just in a minute like how it works and uh, let me connect this openai chat model as well openai chat model okay and uh, the last thing is like memory let me attach memory as well okay so connect this dot here and i think everything is ready everything is set uh, now we can test our thing uh, let me just set my open ai api key and uh, now if i save this uh, let me name this like a news fetcher tutorial or something okay uh, let me save this uh, so our chat flow is saved and now if i ask you know and give me latest news on google okay let's see if it is giving an answer or not it is giving a chinese answer although please note that the news article may not directly relate to google but they are latest articles within the keyword google okay so these are the articles that he that are that are using uh, you know google in their keywords so let's try to be more specific okay let me ask like you know uh, uh, what i can ask give me latest news on stocks okay now let's see so here you can see uh, the first one that we got uh, is like the demand of GPUs. Uh, so demand of GPUs is increasing in prices of certain cards or skyrocketing and something like that. And uh, if I will click on this one, read more thing, here you will see. Although one thing that we forgot to mention is like you can choose language as well. Okay, so we haven't added, I haven't added that. That's why it is giving answer in different format, but you got my you got an idea you got an idea right like how it works apart from that if i go if i search second one fox to be stocks upon horror with two acquisition following fantasia festival or whatever like that so even here you can see like uh, there is stocks in the title now uh what is the relevancy like you know the relevancy is totally depends on your api endpoint like you know whatever it will get from your api endpoint it will return that okay so but yeah it is giving an answer and it's a kind of latest news as you can see uh the reason is because uh, if uh, so yeah uh, so this is an article of uh, uh august 2nd 2023 and today is like a second august okay so yeah so i think it's uh, working and that's how you can build you know custom tools and this is a just an ex one of the, one of the thousand example uh you can attach an ex any kind of endpoint here so yeah that's pretty much it for today's video i hope you liked it and if you liked it then do don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel i will see you in the next video that's something more exciting so yeah bye